Hey friends, it's Amy and I'm in the studio and I wanted to share something that's been weighing on my heart a little bit and it's this idea that we all have the ability to create light within our own lives and then we can spread that out to others because we are going through so many dark times and have been through so many dark times that we need ways to uplift ourselves and uplift one another. Obviously, if you've been following my channel, you know that creative expression is something that I believe in for all of us. I believe that every single person is creative and that we have it within us. We have the power to craft lives that we love. Part of the reason I want to share this is because I have gotten so many wonderful, heartwarming letters and emails and notes in the past that I've accumulated but I haven't had the chance to actually share either on this channel or in my podcast. I wanted to take a moment and a beat to actually do that because I think that two powerful words will change our lives and that is create light. It can mean a lot of different things. It can mean the brightness in your world it can also mean lightening your load because so many of us feel weighed down with everything that we have going on. Perhaps you feel overwhelmed, perhaps you're struggling, perhaps you're going through a season of change. I encourage you to find whatever light you can inside of yourself and spread it around and create it for yourself. When you're having a hard day, Go to the things that make you happy, that make you feel fulfilled inside, that make you want to get creative, that make you want to express yourselves in a positive way. I have a letter from a beautiful person who makes these bracelets. This bracelet says, Create Light. As you know, as scrapbookers and modern day memory keepers, we value our words. We thrive on our stories. It's just a part of us. So when she offered to make me a bracelet, I had to think long and hard about the word or words I wanted on it. Let me just read you this beautiful letter and I'm sharing it with permission and I hope you find some joy and some love inside of these words. Dear Amy, I want to start by apologizing for the first bracelet never making it to you. The USPS was in such a hard place this past year and who knows where it may have ended up. I hope this one makes it to you in a more timely fashion. I also hope the sentiment create light still holds meaning to you. I initially wanted to make you this token because you are the one who introduced me to the idea of having a guiding word or phrase for the year. I have been a fan of since about 2011 and I have followed your creative journey from the earliest Traveler's Notebooks and Collections. I later fell in love with your YouTube videos and vlogs. When I became a teacher in 2015, I made watching one of your videos part of my morning routine because you are always so cheerful and watching them helped me start my day with happiness. It was on one of those videos that I saw a teacher who worked down the hall from me, or at least I thought it was her. It took me a few days to finally muster up the courage to ask her. When I finally did, she laughed and told me she was your sister-in-law. I didn't want to totally fangirl freak out, so I downplayed my excitement, but Jenny and I formed a friendship over your vlog from San Diego, I think. We also found out we were expecting our first babies around the same time. Unfortunately, I suffered from horrible postpartum anxiety after the birth of my son and was unable to return to work the following school year. When I did go back to work, I was starting to do a lot of work to try to accept my circumstances, heal, and build mental resiliency. I again turned to you. I started listening to your podcasts on my drive to work. Thank you for sharing your own postpartum experience with listeners. That episode truly helped me heal and know that I wasn't alone. I also appreciate your realness. The notion that being positive and upbeat isn't always a default mentality for everyone, but that we can do simple things every day to infuse creativity and happiness into our lives. 
Through my work to heal and manage my anxiety, I found my intent. It was the perfect way for me to make time for creativity and reflection, and also encourage others to find their word. Just like you have shared your story and inspired so many of us, I hope this little token inspires you to keep creating light. The world needs more people like you. I truly cannot thank you enough. Wishing you love, light, and laughter, Leanne O'Connor. Her handle is at the dot intentional dot maker. And the first time I read her letter, I cried. I actually had to stop reading it because I wasn't in a good position to do a, you know, a full on cry. But I believe in feeling all the feels. So I contacted her and thanked her for the beautiful bracelet. And then I went back when I was in a more reasonable space to actually let the tears flow. I went back and read her words and they had a powerful impact on me. So I want you to know that you have the power within yourselves to create light and you never know the impact of what that will do to someone else, what that will inspire or trigger in a good way in somebody else. You have no idea the impact of your words, your actions, your positivity, maybe your struggles. Sharing those stories and sharing that light is something I think we can all use and we can all take to heart. And hopefully you can feel inspired by her letter, by my channel. I thank you so much for coming here, for subscribing, for liking these videos, for commenting. I read every single one for better or for worse. Thankfully you all are amazing and I have mostly very, very positive comments. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart and hopefully encourage you to create light wherever you can. Thanks for watching.